this section is about brackets or parentheses if you want to be posh um, brackets on a fan control or a has control or on a mazak um, brackets come as curved brackets and square brackets which is pretty standard square brackets are for mathematics so it's a mathematical formula so if you put something in a square bracket the machine's looking at doing some kind of calculation Now, a curved bracket is something that the control ignores. It's a comment. So it's the first opening parenthesis, the opening bracket means control out. So it means take no notice. And the second bracket, the closing bracket says, I need you to start noticing what I'm doing again. So uh, they're the two types of brackets the curved and the square bracket. Now the controls are a bit weird in this sense in that sometimes you will have a soft key for your curved brackets. So you've got to find that soft key, this key input key. And when you click on that, you'll see the brackets there. So you just use this soft key to give yourself the curved brackets. And on my control, my square brackets are up here. If you haven't got that, you can actually have a parameter that changes these from a square bracket to a curved bracket. So when you input that square bracket, it'll actually give you a curved bracket. Now, you might have to do that to get your comments to write in on the control. I know it's a pain in the ass, but unfortunately, that's the way it is on this control. So um, you need to be on the lookout for this if you can't get the brackets to work. But generally on this control, you, um, you would have a soft key. Uh, for the brackets it can be a bit tricky to find but you have to click around with these buttons here until you find that so if I wanted to write a comment in this program um, I would put this uh, curved bracket first and then I would say whatever my comment was I'm going to say stop I don't know why I'm going to say stop but it's nice and easy to write uh, end the brackets and then just use your insert key and there you've got it. If I stick some end of blocks after that, so you can see. And that's my comment that I've just put in. Unfortunately, if you want to change that comment, you've got to completely write it again. Um, if you've got, there are certain controls where you can actually, fan and controls where you can actually break into this and just get to the separate letters. Um, if you've got uh, manual guide eye on your fan and control, you will be able to do this. And if you've got manual guide eye, just have a real good look because there's loads more edit functionality on guide eye than what there is on the standard fan. Um, so if we wanted to replace this comment, unfortunately, you've got to go through, even if you make a typo, if you've you know spelled that wrong or whatever, you unfortunately you've got to go through the whole comment again and just alter it. So you you write all the comment out and alter it. So that's how we put comments in. My advice, if this is proving to be a real pain, then just write them in off the machine, you know, because you can use this. You can do this with the text editor or whatever. So you can you can write these comments in off the machine. And sometimes it's much easier to do that. Um, so if you've got a has control, then this is dead easy to do. It's easy to write comments into that. And as I've said in loads of things before on loads of these videos before, you must put loads and loads and loads of comments in because you can't just you just can't get enough of these things um, to. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to just demonstrate to you now is the square bracket. And um, I'm going to put something completely innocuous and stupid in here. But you will see uh, the point of what I'm trying to make. Variable one. 100 shift equals 
then I'm going to put a square bracket, open the square bracket. I'm going to say four um, shift plus four shift, close the square brackets, end of block, insert. So all that's saying is that vary 100 equals four plus four. Now we all know that four plus four is eight. So variable 100 should now equal eight. If I just reset that, and I'll just test it, put the machine in single block, and then I'm going to go dirt, 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 ready. I'm just there, going to that setting screen. Variable 100 is empty at the moment. Read it. It's now equal to 8. So it's done that calculation. 4 and 4 is 8. Now, it's completely pointless, but you would have loads of things with variables where you might want to add things together, adding variables together. So you, you could... Uh, there'll be loads and loads of uses for it but it's basically it's mathematics so do not try and put comments in square brackets because it won't work all that happen is that the machine will try and make sense of what you've written in those square brackets so we've got square brackets for calculations and we've got curved brackets for comments and we have loads and loads and loads of comments and don't forget on this first line of your program Put that comment before your end of block, straight after your program number, then your end of block. Otherwise, it will not manifest in this screen. It will come up in this screen and it won't tell you what it is. So when you're looking in your directory, you won't be able to see what program, um, what program it is, whatever description you put.